Justice Sylvester Unguta waiting for the commencement of his trial on a 16-count charge filed against him by the federal government following his arrest and detention by the Department of State Services. At the proceedings, Justice Unguta pleaded not guilty to all the 16-count charges brought against him. Having taken his plea, his lawyer, Mr. Kano Agabi, requested for his bail. According to him, the offence for which his client is standing trial is a bailable offence, and given his position as a Supreme Court Justice, he should be granted bail on self-recognizance. Rejecting his application, the prosecutor, Mr. Charles Phillips, argued that the defendant cannot be granted bail with respect to his position. He told the court that barely 20 minutes after he was released on administrative bail, Justice Unguta gave instructions to a witness in the case to tamper with evidence to be used in the case against him. He informed the court that in the course of investigation, it was discovered that Justice Unguta maintained multiple identities. He therefore asked the court not to grant bail or in the alternative, grant him bail in the most stringent terms. In his ruling, Justice John Soho said that though the prosecution sought to impress the court on the defendant's unworthiness for bail, it failed to show that the concerns raised did not make it revoke the administrative bail granted to the defendant. He concluded that since there is no evidence before the court that Justice Unguta will not be available for his trial, he will be granted bail. The matter has been taken out of the realm of uh, prejudice, of uh, slander and all the rumors that you normally hear. It's now in a court of law and we have an opportunity to present our case. We are very, very grateful to the state for that. Well, we opposed the bill because we um, thought that there was a very high likelihood that um, witnesses and the evidence in the case will be interfered with. Um, and that was primarily the basis for the objection. But the, as you know, that has been over taken by events and um, he's been granted bail in his own recognizance. Even though he has been granted bail on self-recognizance, it is not yet Uhuru for the Supreme Court Justice, whose trial is billed to begin on the 7th of December 2016. Amaka Okafo, Channels Television News.